Good afternoon, everyone. It's time for your Wednesday handwriting lesson. Today for handwriting, I would like for you to open up your handwriting book to page 82. And on page 82, you are going to notice that today we are going to write some words. And the kind of words we're going to write about today are homophones. Let's go ahead and take a look and find out what are homophones. Homophones. Homophones are words that sound the same but have different meanings. Beep, beep. to you. Do you hate dirt on your floors, loathe crumbs in your carpet? Well, for four easy payments of $99.99, this top-of-the-line patented vacuum technology could be yours. So you're going to buy it or what? Those were some fun examples of homophones. Let's take a quick look at one more little lesson before we get started. Homophones. All right, class, today we're going to do another activity. This activity involves something called homophones. And homophones is a uh, word that comes from Greek. And homo means the same, and phones means sound. So basically, homophones mean the same sound. So two words having the same sound. So let me explain what, what, what we're doing here. We've got a list of words that we're going to work with, OK? And the first word, we're going to find one in your list that sounds the same as this one. This word might be tough to read. This is the word eight. Eight, like the number eight. I want you to check out your list, see if you can find a word that sounds like eight. Oh my gosh, you found eight. Good. Now, the word eight that you have is a three-letter word, and it means something different than the number eight. This is A, which is small. T is going to go tall. And then a silent E at the end. So this word is eight. That's like the action or the verb, someone ate something. Ate. Nice. The next words that we're going to work on is this word, cell. And a cell are little tiny microscopic things that we have inside of our body. So, so we're full of cells. Our bodies are made up of cells. That's this word, cell. Now look on your list. I want to see if you can find one. By golly, you found the word cell. Now, your cell is a little bit different. It's going to start with an S, which has a little magic C, and it's going to stop, drop, and roll. And that is a small letter. Now, what's the E going to do in cell? Yeah, it's going to be small. Good job. E. Now, how about those L's? What's going to happen with the L's? Give it to me, show me. Tall, small, or fall? Which one do you think? That's right, the L's are going to be tall, so they got to go above the line. Cell. So that word means people selling things. Like when you go to the store to buy things, someone is selling something. So they sell things to you. Okay? You've got homophones, eight. And A, sell, and sell. Now you've got a list on your board. I want you to look on your 
worksheet, and I want you to see if you can continue this activity and find some homophones. At the end of that, what I want you to do is I want you to pick your favorite pair, and I want you to write me two sentences using the pair of homophones. One homophone in one sentence, and the second homophone in the second sentence. Good luck. I know you can do it. All right, so let's practice what he said. In your handwriting book, you have a list of five words on this side and five words on this side. Your job is to read the first word and see if you can find a, another word that sounds the same but looks different and it means something different. Here's the first two examples he did with us. Eight. And then you're going to write this word. This is also the word eight. You're going to write that on the line. You can even cross out that word when you're done so you know that you've already used that one. Number two was the word cell. And then here's the homophone cell. You're going to write that on your next line. Then you can go back and cross it out because you've already used it. I want you to continue with this lesson all the way until you finish all 10 homophones. Then he had something special he wanted you to do when you were done with that. Pick your favorite two homophones and use them in sentences. For example, if you choose the word eight and eight, you're going to use this word eight and write it in a sentence on this line. You might say, I have eight pairs of shoes because that means the number word eight. Then you're going to take your homophone, which looks like this, eight, and you're going to use that in a sentence down below. Your sentence could say something like this. I ate pizza for dinner because this word ate means like you're eating something. All right, everyone, before you get started, I want to show you an example of two more homophones, the word plain and plain. Yes, they sound the same, but they look different and they mean different things. Watch this. Our world. There's one type of plane. Oh, there it goes again. And here's a different type of plane. We will learn more about that in social studies. A plane is a flat piece of land. So as you can see, boys and girls, plain and plain sound the same, but they mean two different things. One plane was flying through the sky. The other plane was a flat piece of land. All right, I hope you enjoyed your lesson on homophones today. Do your best. Bye-bye.